of course dy dx is the limit of the gradient of a chord so in our calculations in our first principles proof we're going to start with actually defining our function as being f of x which is 5x squared plus 3x minus 4 giving us f of x plus delta x as being 5x plus delta x all squared plus 3x plus delta x minus 4 now we're going to expand that bracket and you might need a separate working to show the squaring of x plus delta x but to save a little time it's going to be x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared and we've got the 3x plus delta x I'll expand the brackets on the next line that's giving us 5x squared plus 10x delta x plus 5 delta x squared plus 3x plus 3 delta x minus 4. Now substituting f of x plus delta x and f of x into our formula we're going to get the dy dx is equal to the limit as delta x tends to 0 of f of x plus delta x. So let's, let's get our fraction line up first. Keep it nice and tidy. It's going to be a long line if I could squeeze that in. So we've got 5x squared. Keep it in a bracket. Keep it neat and tidy. Plus 10x delta x. Plus 5x delta, sorry, 5 delta x squared. Plus 3x. Plus 3 delta x. Minus 4. That's f of x plus delta x. Now take away 5x squared plus 3x minus 4 and the denominator is delta x now what we're going to find happening is that the 5x squared and the plus 3x and the minus 4 will cancel out that will happen every time and therefore we will continue on the next line to give dy dx is the limit as delta x tends to 0 of and what we left with in the numerator is 10x delta x, 5 delta x squared, 3 delta x. There is a common factor there of delta x. So if I take that out in one line, we've got the 10x plus 5, and delta x squared is, is of course delta x times delta x. So take the factor out, leaving a 3 from the 3 delta x and the delta x on the denominator we will see will cancel out every time with the delta x on the numerator so we're coming down to dy dx is the limit as delta x tends to 0 of 10x plus 5x delta x that's the bit that's going to go towards 0 to give our actual definition of the limit so if we communicate that we are going to take the limit to give our final dy dx delta x tends to 0 the derivative is then 10x of course that's tending towards 0 so in the limit 10x plus 3 is our derivative that was worth five marks and was part A of the question.